Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kicking up to the 4th of July. Gonna love it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 120, NASDAQ off 101, S&P's off 19, gold contract trading down $6.10 at 1824 an ounce. You got silver, flat, $21.15 an ounce, platinum. Down a buck and a half at 901 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 82, $109.44 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading 116.26. The 30 year off 25 ticks at 116. No. The 30 year off 25 ticks at 135.08. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 225 ticks, trading 103.958. Euro is at 105, yen is at 135.43, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what you have out here is that on Friday, Friday was a big day. I had a good day. You had a rebalancing of the small caps. You know, and what that specifically means, folks, is that you have some small caps that were small caps that turned into, you know, large caps. Uh, other large caps that uh, are small caps now. And the bottom line is that you got volume in the market. That's how it shakes out. You see the SPY? The SPY, we did uh, 98 million shares, okay? You know, you still went down with 132, but the way this works is that it depends. It's, it's how you're going forward. That, that's the that's real bottom line. We got, market, we got volume in the market. That sets up, you know, well, first off, it sets up. In order to negate that volume, you'd have to get over it and close underneath it, and that's what we're probably going to do today. That being said, I expect that you're still going to see this run get up to this 40144. That's where the gap is. There's a free gap playing the way down. That's the top of the gap, so it'll get somewhere into that level. We're going to take a look at the uh, NDX100, the three Qs. Now, the three Qs, here's where divergence comes in. The three Qs didn't get volume. Now, the, the, the composite got volume. What do you see the, the, the composite? I mean, you talk about volume was insane. So when you take a look at the three Qs, bottom line, you, you did 58 million shares, then that's not even close. We did 67 million shares on that uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday. Uh, bottom line, that being said, I expect we still see, we'll see that go into the 299 area. And if we take a look at this volume, you'll see this on the NYSE, on Friday, you can see we did 3.2 billion. Okay, now watch this one. This is intense, man. And the composite, 9.42 billion, folks, okay? So the way this works, just so you can understand like how this works, this is the, when you have a rebalancing, it's the one time, this happens at least four or five times a year in different indices, but it's the time that the actual larger funds can get out and get in without dislocating price in a big way. And you can see inside the NASDAQ composite, they did it in spades. In spades. And more than likely what happened with the composite also is that you probably had some uh, middle caps that end up into uh, small caps. You know, that, that's what it looks like. Because yeah, you don't see uh, that 9.2 uh, billion uh, too often inside the marketplace. Gold. Gold contract is still having a tough time catching a bid. If you are in the gold market, you probably heard over the weekend that, yeah, the, you know, Russian gold can't be sold now. The thing that's amazing about that story, folks, okay, Russian gold hasn't been able to sell since the sanctions went on it. So it's like that. I'm hearing this yapping all weekend long. It's like, okay, give me a break, okay? It hasn't happened since then. Now they may have formalized it at the, you know, uh, the exchange, the London Bullion Exchange, but the bottom line, it hasn't been happening. You can see that, yeah, it hasn't done a thing. What we've had in the gold market is that it continues to reject lower price, but it hasn't got a sign of strength. And more than likely, this is what it's all about. It's that good old U.S. dollar, because when you take a look at the U.S. dollar, the bottom line inside the dollar is that, you know, this is hanging at eyes. You know, 
the high, the hot, the bench mark high that you want to keep your eye on in the dollar is the first high, is the 105.005. You know, we took that out uh, about a week ago. Uh, it was a one day wonder. Then we came down hard, going sideways. You know, this rejected lower price again today. This thing's not over. That's my take inside that good old US dollar. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And you got, we got AMC up $1.67. Uh, well, you know what's going to be interesting is that um, the um, Top Gun, Top Gun uh, just did over a billion dollars. And that's one of the biggest plays for Paramount since, uh, let me see, this is on the, this, it's like, it's a long time, man. It's 2000. Where are you? Let me get this quick. I'll get it for you. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's a long time. It's uh, many, many years. <laughs> uh, but evidently, they, they, have, they have some action going for them. Look at Amazon down 295. You got uh, NVIDIA off 195. We got uh, Robinhood. Robinhood, check this out. Robinhood's trading $9. $9.19. That has absolutely got smoked. Uh, Occidental's up a buck uh, forty. We have uh, Exxon Mobil up two twenty-seven, and uh, you know we'll see uh, how this whole week shakes out. But most times, folks, this is a positive week. Uh, you're coming into the July Fourth weekend, and uh, you got plenty of people that are on vacation. Uh, we just had a nice downdraft. There's no doubt that this can build costs for a bit. A bounce with some light volume and see where the whole thing shakes out. We go take a look at Apple. Apple is trying to push out as much as they can, public relations wise. That oh, they're coming out with, you know, miracles. <laughs> Bottom line is not helping them too much. You know, Apple come off this low of uh, 129. You're trading 141 right now. That being said, now this is what's going to be so cool, folks. When the, when you have the indices speculating that that's where the gap's going to go. Apple's done it today. Apple got up to its bottom gap, 142.53. We hit 143.49. Now, if this can't hold it, that this is this is how you pick a market apart. This is when you're going to say, oh, I see. Because if Apple can't hold it, guess what, man? As the indices get up there, your probability goes much higher. You're not going to be able to hold it. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Dow. Dow Industrials right now, trading lower. NASDAQ off a bit. S&P's down eight. Come right back.